Hey there, hope you guys are doing great today. So this is a video segment of a blog post that I did recently on three questions to ask yourself if you are looking into a multi-level marketing or a direct sales organization. And so um, I'll be sharing a little bit more on the blog with you in some later posts, but I have been doing an extensive amount of research into the multi-level marketing and direct sales industry, and it has been an eye-opening experience, to say the least. So more coming on all of that. But this one particular post, again, I was uh, writing about these three questions that you want to ask. Before you ask the three questions, it's important that you know definitions. That is huge. So in this industry, there are a lot of different terms that you might hear. You might hear multi-level marketing. You might hear party plan. You might hear direct selling or direct sales. You might hear network marketing. So there are a lot of different terms that are in the industry and they're all used in a lot of different ways, most of them inaccurately. So what I did in my research is I wanted nobody's bias, really. I wanted just to understand what's the history of this industry? Where did it begin? What was the origination of all of these? And really helped me to understand the definitions. So I'm going to put some references below in the notes so that you can actually see some of the information that I was looking at. But I would say the most important place that I went is the FTC website. The FTC is the Federal Trade Commission at FTC.gov. And you can simply type in multi-level marketing into the search box and you will get a plethora of information on this industry. Um, it's, also, it's very good because they will define for you what multi-level marketing is and I will touch base um, on that again in a few minutes. So let's go back to the beginning and really back to the history of where all of this came from. It's quite fascinating, I think. So it really goes back to the late 1880s when Avon started. And so Avon was a company like actually a lot of other companies that did a direct sell. And so direct sales is where you are selling directly to someone else. It could be selling to one person. It could be selling to two people. It could be selling to more than, you know, more than two people. But it is a method of selling selling that it is a very personal connection, a very personal sale to someone as opposed to, you know, these days going into Walmart or ordering something on Amazon, right? It's not quite as personal as it is in the direct selling. And so that's really the definition. So definition one is direct sales. And so it's again selling directly. So I know that you know of many people that are involved in these types of companies where they are selling directly. A lot of them sell on social media. A lot of them um, are very hard sellers on social media. Some of them are posting pictures of their items and they don't mention them. It's kind of a soft sell, if you will. Um, some of them might be talking to you or propositioned to you, uh, maybe not about their product, but also about a business opportunity. And that actually leads in to the second piece of history. So you have the 1880s, you have Avon and other companies that were really door-to-door -door salespeople. And so you go to the 1900s, 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, and there's a lot of door-to-door -door selling going on back then, right? So you had people selling maybe uh, cleaning supplies. You had people selling, uh, you know, Amway was around then, so they were selling cleaning supplies. You have people that were selling um, encyclopedias, you know, you might, you might have had a set of those when you were growing up, but there were all these different products that were being sold. So what changed in the marketplace was around the mid-1950s when companies such as Amway created this other, uh, let's call it a business opportunity, or let's just keep it simple and call it a new product, if you will. And so back in the 50s, a new product was created and it was called the multi-level marketing product. So the MLM was born. And so Amway and other companies like them adopted a new way of doing business. And so imagine that you were an Avon lady back then and you're going out and selling door to door. Now you had something else to sell. Not only could you sell your face lotion or your lipstick, but you could also sell this individual on joining your team. They could also sell lipstick or they could also sell the cleaning products that Amway had or has. You know, you could offer them that. And so thus begins the multi-level marketing organization. 
And so these, um, again, direct sellers now had two things to offer, their actual products, and then they actually had a business opportunity. And obviously, if they signed up and they recruited that person, then that person would then be selling the same products that their sponsor would be uh, selling. So then about the same time frame, it was just kind of a few years, it was the late 50s and early 1960s, you know, these companies continue to be created and two of those companies were Home Interiors and also Mary Kay. And so what they did is a new spin on direct selling called the party plan concept. And so you might have heard of the Tupperware parties, you know, where people would get together in a woman's home and they would have a lady come in and, you know, show them the Tupperware. And that's really what started the party plan concept. So party plan is nothing more than direct selling to typically more than two people. And so it really allows the representative or the distributor to get in front of more people at the same time and allows them to make more money per hour. And so they're still directly selling to people, right? They're just selling in a group environment. So when we go back to the definitions again, direct selling is selling directly to people, right? So party plan would really fit within the direct selling because at the end of the day, you're selling a product or you're selling a service, whether it's to one person or multiple people. And so let's bring it back or let's bring it forward to today's current day and where we sit at this moment. Um, if you look at any direct sales company, virtually every single direct sales company has a multi-level marketing component within it. And so you might have be talking to someone or you might have a friend of yours that's involved in, in one of these businesses and they say, oh, well, I'm a party plan business or we're a party plan business or we're a direct selling business. Well, back to the three questions on the blog, when you're looking at potentially making money with one of these companies, you have to sit down and figure out, you know, how you make money. And so, again, remember, there's kind of two ways that these companies have to make money. The first way is that you could sell the lipstick, you could sell the vitamin, you can sell the face wash, but you also have an opportunity to recruit a team. And if the company that you're speaking with offers you the opportunity to build a team of others to do the same thing. They are, in fact, a multi-level marketing organization. And so there's virtually no direct selling company that's not an MLM. There's not any that I've read about. Um, I haven't seen any on the FTC website. And so that's why the FTC refers to all of these companies as multi-level marketing. Um, truthfully, based on what I've read, these companies really don't want to be called multi-level multi marketing companies because the term multi-level marketing gets them a little bit closer to the term pyramid scheme, which is absolutely an illegal uh, setup, if you will, for an organization. Our country and many other countries have outlawed pyramid schemes. Most countries in the world have. And so multi-level marketing is very, very close, and this video is not to get into that, but they really don't want to be calling themselves multi-level marketers because of the structure that it basically looks like. And so they refer to themselves as direct sellers. And there is an organization out there called the DSA, the Direct Selling Association. And so if you look at all of the member companies of the DSA, you will find that all of these companies are indeed multi-level marketing companies. However, they do offer a product as well that they are able to directly sell to consumers. So I hope this video helps you. I know for me, it took a while to kind of unpack all of the definitions. And so again, in closing, um, direct selling companies are multi-level marketing companies. And if you find one out there that isn't, I would love for you to comment below. Um, but the true definition of a just a pure direct sales company is they only offer a product. They only offer a product for you to sell, and they are not also selling a business opportunity. So anyway, I hope this helps. And let me know also on the blog what you think about the three questions. Talk to you soon.